help can be found all around the community, whether it's at home or local activities. However, at one 5K event for the deaf, behind the speaker lies one individual who silently communicates a loud message. Acting as a liaison for both the deaf and the hearing, interpreters make communication less difficult for the two parties involved. However, interpreters are not the only ones that help the deaf community. With one middle school teacher, acting as not only an interpreter, but also an educator. I help them with any content that they don't know, mostly math, and help them with any homework or assignments, and really just break down sometimes what they're doing in class to a level that helps them understand it. Hmm, how do they help me? There are interpreters who help me, and teachers help me. They help me with my work. This is like study hall. I'm studying English and working on my sign language. And the teachers help me so that I understand. This class helped me a lot because some of the questions in my homework I don't understand well. I need some personal understanding. So I use assistant interpreter and teachers. Sign so language made me like feel comfortable doing in teaching lessons. Sometimes sign language helped me better than English. With teachers and interpreters involving themselves in the deaf community, even a tiny gesture can be heard. I feel like I'm helping my kids in a way that I'm able to help them say, it's not that hard. Like, yes, it can be scary and overwhelming. We can do this together, and I can help you. I can help you learn it, and then once you learn it, you're going to be successful. No, you're not. For CTV News, I'm Gabby Carbone.